In this video, we'll be building entirely the whole car, so without waiting further time, let's get started. First of all, I downloaded a dimensional sketch of the car, initially I was doing for Toyota Surf, but turns out I made Land Rover old model. I zoomed in to scale up the image and placed a wheel to see if it's the correct size. Then I did same to verify the width for the axle I'm using. I was lazy enough, so with a light hand and papers on the screen, I traced out the sketch since it was hard to get perfect scale through printing. I then cut the templates, and meanwhile also attached multiple layers of cardboard for the rear axle. Okay, so here at the sketch and final cuts on the cardboard. I then cut two long pieces of cardboard for the chassis and attached them to the rear axle using some wooden or bamboo sticks you can say. For positioning the front axle, I aligned the front axle with the body template and marked the position with the pencil. Next I glued together multiple pieces of cardboard to make some spacer kind thing for the axle to help attach to the chassis. And hot glued it to the axle. I made some more adjustments to the chassis to check whether axle will move freely if not and then glued the front axle as well. Checked again whether both axles are working fine. I'm using MG995 Metal Gear Servo, you can use any other similar as well, but enough torque for the steering should be there. Using plier and a metal wire, I decided to shape and attach the axle rod to the servo arm. This was a boring process though, so I just fast forwarded it. Here is it, connected to the axle rod. Then I glued the servo to the chassis as well. So this is how it looks. For drive, I'm using two TT geared motors, I later in part 2 of this video have done a lot of modification, one of them is changing of motors as well. Okay so, what I did is I screwed some screws into the motor shafts, since my axle drive shafts were big enough in diameter, I attached them to the motor using this method, while attached the motors together using piece of plastic from an old pen. I'm using a 320A brush DSC, 2-3S LiPo, or 5-9S NAMH battery, review and instructions are already on our channel, link is in the description below. Connected motors wires to ESC, and if direction is opposite, simply switch the wires. For power I'll be using 3's 2800Ma35C LiPo battery, and Flysky TM10 transmitter with IA10B receiver, review also on our channel. I attached ESC wire to channel 2, and servo wire to channel 4. I used cable ties to attach it, but it's your choice though, can glue it as well. Let's test it first. And here's how it goes, looks all good. Now comes the body assembly, first I made a mudguard kinda thing with cardboard strip which I bent, and super glued it. Same I did later for all four wheels. Making covers for the wheels inner side. Here, to make a curved shape, with help of ruler, I with a light hand made a cut, just a little deep such that I don't cuts or penetrates through the other layer, just the above one, and then bent the window section. I then attached the panel to the roof, and same I did for the other side later. For front mudguard and inner fenders, I used nearly same process, just some change of steps. So here is how the body looks like. Now, time for the front section, I cut the templates for windscreen and bonnet or hood you can say as well separately. After removing the paper I give a little bend to the windscreen and place them temporarily to see how they fit. The bonnet needed some work, I bend it from the sides, also cut some extra piece, and then it looked good. Before gluing that, front bumper part is important, for that I bend a piece of cardboard and glued it. I bent and pressed some more strips and glued them as well. And here is how it looks. I pressed the front section of hood again to match it with the level and give curve according to the bumper and grille section. After gluing the windscreen, I used some thin strips to hold the bonnet so that it can open easily, as shown. Now comes the rear end. For that I cut the window, trunk and bumper section separately and glued them step by step, giving them curves as well as needed. Not to bore you guys, I made headlight and taillight slots off camera. Next, I, I removed the top layer of cardboard piece to give it grill-like appearance and then glued it to complete the look. Also did similar to rear end as well. Now comes the lights and electronics part, I made some brackets out of ice cream sticks. I'm using these one watts LEDs, painted some of them as well, as can be seen. And then hot glued them. 
For rear, I made panel of three LEDs and glued it to the car shell, same I did to the other side. For indicators, I'm using my own handmade timer IC circuit, which I made in on of the videos of mine, link in the description. I'm using servo attached to toggle switch, one for left light set, and one for right side one. How it works is that servo hits one of the switches and it turns on one set of LEDs, while timer IC keeps blinking it. Here is how it runs. And here is how the mechanism looks like in working. Here's the schematics, and sorry there were some scale issues. You can also use Arduino and transistor setup instead of servos, we'll cover that in future video. And did some boring denting painting job, so not gonna bore you guys either. Here is the final look. Here is after all completed, and year, forgot to mention, I attached the body shell to the chassis using screws. In part 2 of this video, we have done bunch of modification, including better paint job and finishing, widening the body, upgraded to better lighting system. Better suspension mechanism with huge wheel articulation. Efficient indicators mechanism. An efficient release lights and electronics brake and brake light system.